Today we will be breaking theme park icon 2 in a lot of different ways and even at the end we will be building a teleporting roller coaster. So make sure you keep watching up to the very end. And as you can see only 20% is actually subscribed. So if you haven't subscribed go do it right now. Alright let's get straight into this. So for the first glitch we are going to try is build a roller coaster upside down. Yes you can actually build roller coasters upside down and of course with the multi launch and all those coasters you can build them upside down. But with coasters like the junior coaster or other coasters you actually cannot but is a glitch how you can actually do it and you can actually break it the most with the suspended coaster so i am of course going to show you guys how you can do this with all the things how you can even build a teleporting coaster as you can see later on so what you want to do is just build a station it doesn't really matter then you are just going to go forward it does also not really matter you can just do it straight out of the station you can do it wherever you want then you are going into the rotate spline you want to change this around 45 degrees and then it should work and change the pitch roll to 180 degrees and then if you are right you see track like this which looks very broken then you are going back to move spline node and just make this longer you can make it extremely long you can also just until it is wide and as you can see then you are just going to go back to the rotate spline make this go back to zero degrees and there you have your roller coaster upside down but what you want to do is just go to the side get the rotate spline note and just move the green ball and as you can see that's how you are going to create the turns you can make them of course longer with this too and change whatever you want so i have made a little test coaster right here this is going to break a lot this is the station i made a block break for it but when i am going to test it um <laughs> weird stuff starts to happen you're not upside down but it tries to go upside down as you can see like it starts to break. We are half in the track and it is very, very weird and I'm not sure this is supposed to happen. You can do this track with almost all coasters that cannot invert normally. The only one that I haven't gone to work is the steeple change coaster. Maybe there's some other different way you can do it, but I haven't got that to work. And there's another thing. If you have the junior coaster or coaster that cannot rotate as much as 45 degrees, just rotate as much as possible and then you can just do exactly the same. It should not change anything and then just make it longer. And as you can see, it even works on the junior coaster. Keep in mind when you Right, these roller coasters it looks very weird it's not like very smooth it does stuff like this and it like yeah we are uh, upside down all right let's go to the next glitch so for the next glitch this can actually be useful if you want trash cans not on a path so let's say you are building a custom path there you go as you can see they're now on a custom path how did i actually do this well you can do this with any right you want sounds maybe weird let's just place a carousel an entrance an exit and then we are going to get a trash can and it doesn't matter which trash can you can also place this trash can if i'm right you can even place a bench you need the same collisions otherwise i think you cannot place anything on here and what you're then just going to do is move the entrance and the exit so we're going to move the entrance there the exit right here and as you can see you now have this right here and then you can Delete the, the right, there you go. And then you just have floating, they are floating a little bit, so keep that in mind. But that's how you can actually place trash cans and all the other stuff that normally has to be placed on path, off path. Wow. For the next bug, I think most people know this, of course, the switch track. I'm just going to show it because I still get actually quite a lot of questions on how you can actually do this. So what you want to do is get the rotate spline node and put it out to smooth on off. Then you are just going to rotate this to 180 degrees. And then you're also going to rotate the red button to around 180 degrees. Then you are going to play around with this button a little bit until it gives white. Uh, then you press two times Q and and then you can just build however you want. You don't have to keep this. Just keep in mind to make this rotate back. And that's how you can actually make a working switch track. As you can see, we will now just be teleporting the other way around. It's a little bit the same as, of course, with the upside down coaster. But now you don't go upside down. All right, let's go to the next glitch. We will be making a working waterfall with real water physics. I'm going to show you how you can actually do that. So what you want to do, get the size of the terrain. I'm just going to make a big cube of water. But you can, of course, change it however you want. So I'm just going to go four up or so. And I'm going to delete the middle. So you still have all the walls around it. Then you want to, of course, fill it with water. And then this 
is the weird part. What you want to do is fill this with trees. I know this sounds weird, but just do it. But what you now want to do is paint this terrain and what you want to do so make sure you do this step otherwise it won't work disable the collision as you can see right there make sure this is disabled otherwise it won't work and then you're just going to paint it and there you go as you can see it starts to glitch out what you now can do is just delete the trees paint the ground back or whatever you want to do there you go and as you can see right now we have water here and you can make this way longer uh, in different shapes different sizes so you can get a waterfall and it's just very nice it's weird but this is probably useful for some stuff if you, if you want it in your park but guys let's go to the last glitch we are going to build a teleporting roller coaster so right here I have a 4D coaster and before I build this massive shout out to Lempy who found this glitch Yeah, we are going to build a teleporting coaster and first of all it doesn't look too weird until we are going to ride it It is weird. So what is going to happen? You're just going normally out of the station These are boosters right here and we will be going up. We will be boosted up not a lot And we'll be going back and then we will stop on the boosters and magically we will be going up and this happens we teleport to the other side of the roller coaster and uh, by the way it doesn't matter where you place the left side you can just not build that but i've just so it's symmetrical and as you can see we just start doing this and up here there's also sometimes the train that's glitching this coaster is going so fast that it cannot register it after some time we will be going so quick that the Yes, screen starts to glitch. We will see things double. It, it's just we are rotating so quick that the game, as you can see, just cannot hold up with it. It's it's insane and yeah, we are... Uh, this coaster can also launch you up like two to three minutes up in the air. It's it's insane. But I am going to show you guys how you can do this. But keep in mind, this is quite hard and needs to be quite precise. For this, of course, you don't need disable collisions actually. But you need the operations best because we are going to change some of the operations. So I'm just going to rebuild this coaster on the side of it. This is just some sort of prototype of the glitch. I'm sure some of you guys are going to make this to another level. Uh, this is just how I've got it to work. There are probably more different things to this on how you can do it yourself. And then I am going to make boosters around the same length. It is going to be a bit different already by the looks of things, but it should be fine. Not too much up, something like this. Just make sure on this side you have enough room for it being launched to, that it goes back. Otherwise, it will of course explode. And it doesn't really matter what you actually do on this side i can just do this and it will teleport from that so right now we have these operations and these might look very weird in the beginning i had the exact same but just copy these and it will work i'm just going to make it as big as i can so it fits on the screen boost power is just the 37 brakes 25 and track friction also 25 i'm just going to go through it and you might have to tweak some of these settings with the wait for seconds elapsed so it works uh, on your own roller coaster and stuff. It's it's very precise. So what first will happen is that the coaster will get uh, departed out of the station. Then it will wait six seconds uh, before the boosters turn off and they go into a station mode. And that station mode is off. Then the station won't work anymore. So it basically won't have a station anymore. Then after like a lot of seconds and stuff, the set boost mode will set to break both. So that is what it's going to do to how it breaks on the launch as we saw. And then at the last thing, it says break to halt. That is the moment where it breaks. The coaster will stop on the booster mode, but the boosters are set to 500%. So it's going to stop and instantly want to go again. But when it goes up, it for some reason just teleports to the other side. And why we don't know, but that's just how it works. So let's just copy these to the other coaster that I just built. And let's see if this now works first try. It, it would surprise me. I am going to make this a little bit longer. And you just have to, yeah, change some of the timings around. See what works, see what doesn't work. But as you can see, it's now on this step. Wait for seconds, one, one, one. And then it gets back. And as you saw, this was just too quick i probably have to change the booster power to around 45 and i'm just going to tweak this around and i will back at you guys when <laughs> it works okay so i just cannot get it to work i have 
like almost built them now identical and I'm just going to show you like how precise it needs to be because they're like almost doing the same but this one just I cannot seem to work I don't know why yeah as, as you see you just have to be very precise with what you're doing maybe you guys can help discover how this glitch works and now it just it's very hard to get it to work and just a slight change of how long the boosts are or the timing or how the quick the boost is. But doesn't get away. You can build a teleporting roller coaster in theme park like on 2. Which is pretty insane. I am sure people are going to come up with ideas for this in the future. With what they're going to build with this. But guys this is the end of the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did please oh my Please leave a like, make sure to subscribe to my channel. We're still of course trying to hit 50,000 subscribers to the end of the year. So if you have subscribed, consider it. And that's it. I will thank you for watching and I will say guys, as always, goodbye.